Nope, still hot. Still very hot. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Jack, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's just not the Burton moment. Will this make the end of the year montage that I am going to attempt to make? Who knows? <laughs> anyway. Oh, hello. Anyone. Hello, and welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where the tea is very hot tonight, apparently. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and uh, I forgot the rest of the intro. Currently in a podcast where we put the tea in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. That's the new one that I've been we've been doing for a while. Uh, anyway, I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay, I've got water, but I'm almost out of it. But tonight we're trying a brand new energy drink that I got because it was on sale. So, uh, Alani knew if you want to sponsor... Wait, let me, hold on, let me taste say that. <laughs> Oh, Alani New, if you want to sponsor, please. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's like a sour blue raspberry. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Anyway. <laughs> we love that for you. Um, hi, I'm Lana, your resident diva. Here to give the tea, spill the tea, drink the tea. Not as hot as Jack's tea, but still love it, you know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and if you have tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I love me some tea. Um, I'm drinking um Sprite, just regular Sprite, because why not? You know, Sprite. There we go. And my name is Jack. I am a college student, a coffee addict, a game designer, a Twitch streamer, and an overall mess. And if you didn't get that last part from what has already happened, um, I don't know how much more clear I could make it. Uh, and tonight, uh, well, first off, uh, the most obvious change. Yeah, I dyed my hair. I'm <laughs> done. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm back home, and as such, I have much nicer stuff, and I also have a blueberry skim life tea. I have no idea what it is. It's Ooh. the first thing that I picked out. It said blueberry on it, and Ooh. I take it. I love a blueberry tea, and I feel and like they're good. very underrated, but I love a blueberry tea. Yeah, it's good. Ooh. But... Well, I you know what else was good? This episode of Survivor. <laughs> oh, this episode of Survivor was very fun. This was good. I enjoyed this episode very much. It was a lot of fun. Uh, also, there is a Kennedy invasion currently. <laughs> so I had we have the banner at the ready at all times. <laughs> it's always ready. There's, it always you, is. You never know. You never know. There are two banners that we always have prepared. It's Kennedy Invasion and it's Pause, Pray, and Proceed. Yes. The two most oh, important. And, and Lana Rant. Um, currently it says everyone rant because last episode we were ranting. All of us were. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I loved... Um, so I watched this episode Thursday instead of watching it live. Because uh, I was taking a nap because it was much needed. And I loved going on Twitter after watching the episode and just seeing all of Lana's tweets about this episode. <laughs> I just like, scrolled through all of them. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is going to be a good podcast this <laughs> weekend. Yes, I agree. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Usually I don't tweet live during the show. Because mm -hmm. I just don't, like, if I'm watching the show, I don't think about tweeting anything. But this week, I was like, you know what? I always watch, see people tweeting live. I'm going to tweet live. I'm just going to say what pops up in my head. And this was, baby, the this was the episode to do that. This was uh -huh. the episode to do that. I was like, because last week, I think it was last week, I was ranting. I was very upset. I was like, I'm bored. I'm very bored with this season. I'm very bored with the predictable tribals. I'm very bored with everybody going with the flow, the kumbaya of it all. Nobody's doing anything in these tribals, nothing. And this week, 
it finally delivered. And I was just like, tweet, 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 tweet. Here we go. I, I could not stop tweeting. Uh, I, I found the love and the understanding of why we live tweet because it was it was good. It was I good. always do it. I always do it during Big Brother season. And I don't mm. always do it during Survivor season. And a lot of that honestly has to do with the fact that we do this podcast. And so I'm like, okay, I want to like, I should though, as a reminder of like all the things that I enjoy now that I'm thinking about it. So I might do it during the finale because I think I'm going to watch it live. Um, but yeah, it's the penultimate episode. It's finally a great episode of television. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we come Let's back. Let's jump right in. Yeah, yeah we I come mean, back. Let's jump right in. Great. Sammy is gone, thankfully, Bye. in my personal Bye. opinion. Bye, Sammy. Um, not much happens. I mean, we wake <laughs> up, it's the next morning, and everyone's like, sunrise, ooh. And Owen is still coming after Carla. Um, mm-hmm. He's like, we had this plan. Everything was in place. And then Carla realized that she should vote Sammy. And because Sammy decided to destroy his tank own vote. his entire game. <laughs> Just... He he randomly decided, hey, uh, I am just gonna play my shot in the dark. And Carla immediately realized why would I vote for anyone else? Because now we definitely uh-huh. don't have the numbers. So I'm just going to vote Sammy like everyone else. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, this is where the entire first part of the episode for me was just like, oh, Carla, no. Carla, no. (laughs) Carla, no. (laughs) Carla, no. (laughs) It was was so much like, (sighs) it was a masterclass on what not to do in Survivor. Like yeah. everything Carla did, you need to do the complete opposite. Like you got caught and they know and they're playing her like a fiddle in this this first half of this. They were like, Yeah, uh Cassidy uh-huh. was Cassidy, we we she knows and they I, it was just it, it, it's like uh, uh in, Carla knows that Cassidy knows about her idol, so she goes mm-hmm. up and as she put it, gets out the telenovela tears and just starts crying and says, would... you know what? If you don't believe my story, you can go talk to Jesse. And Jesse just completely tears down her story. Well, so what happened Owen, before that, Owen goes to Cassidy and is like, oh yeah, Carla was trying to take you out. Which mm-hmm. is true. Which is true. Which is true. Which is true. Which is true. And Cassidy's like, I don't know if I should believe Owen. And I was like, honestly, I don't know if I would believe Owen if I was Cassidy. Because they have not, they have been like oil and water. And I don't think that's intentional. It's just, that's how it's ended up this season. Mm -hmm. So Cassidy goes to Carla. And obviously Carla knows this is true. And Carla also knows that Cassidy knows about her idol. Unaware that everyone knows about Carla's idol at this point. Um, And so she's like, no, what do you mean? Turning on the tears, which is great. And then, as you said, Jesse just completely blows it up. And okay. if I'm just if I'm Jesse, that's, that's what I do. That's what I of do. Course. Like absolutely. So this is the thing. This is what I this is what, what I'm like. If I was in Carla's position, if Cassidy came to me and was like, I heard you were trying to vote me out, this is where you're busted. You're in, you're you're caught that you don't lie to the one person who knows you who you think know has this idol. This is the thing. This is where you switch and flip and twist the story a little bit. You don't have to tell her the exact truth, like I was coming for you. You be like, did I say I want? I mentioned your name to the guys because I wanted him to think. Yep. That I was coming for you and that there was a lack of trust between us because I didn't really know any of them who I trust. I knew I could trust you. I didn't know which one of them I could trust. And so I was trying to see if they would take the bait. Now, she, 
Because if she said, I said your name to try to get to see if I, if the bait and switch thing happened, if she goes to Jesse and Jesse's like, Carla did say your name. Carla told me she said my name. So it's like, okay. She could have salvaged it a little bit. But to sit there and be like, no, I would never do that. Go ask Jesse. He'll corroborate. You don't know if you can trust Jesse. But the fact yeah, is, yeah. Carla put all her trust in Jesse. And I'm like, why? why? He was never why? your number one. He was never your number one. He I, was I, never I just, an ally like that. It's just I just don't understand. Me. Like, I, of I, all I, people. I do actually understand to an extent. And we learn a lot about Carla's physical and mental state in this episode that we didn't really know a whole lot about prior. So I think had we gotten, had this conversation happened with like day 12 or 14 Carla, I think she would have done exactly what you said, Lana. But we're dealing here with day, what, 23 or 24? Carla? I want to say 23. It's I think it's 23. 23. It's either 22 or 20. No, it's 22 because 22 is reward. Mm -hmm. it's, yes. It was a two-day episode, yeah. Yeah. So we're dealing with day 22, Carla. And as we come to find out, we'll talk about it in the immunity challenge. Mm -hmm. Carla's physical and mental state is not there at this current moment. And I think she was in complete panic mode from what it looked like and was just trying to do whatever she thought of in the moment instead of thinking about the longer term of, you know, day 20, 23, 24, 25, 26. So in that, with that understanding, I, I can understand why she, honestly, I can understand the reason why she does everything that she does in this episode. Like it all, it all makes sense having the knowledge of like where she's at, especially physically. Um, do I think if any of these moves were smart? Not necessarily. No. And I love Carla, but I can't, I can't justify. I I can justify one thing, but that's a tribal. But I I don't I don't think I can justify necessarily anything that she did in this episode as like good gameplay. But I get why she did it. I will plead the fifth on the fact that I will never slander. Uh, I will never, never slander Carla. Period. Well, good for you. We stand Carla in this house, no matter what the decisions are. My we Twitter is literally Carla Cruz Godoy stan account. Like, <laughs> I you love know, that woman. I do. And, and like I said, no matter what the decision she made, it's, I get it. And I, I, I understand. But I'm like, she, I really wish she would have pivoted a little bit better than she did. I wish she because I feel else. I think because her talk, her talk conversation with Cassidy was just wrong. Her her trusting Jesse completely just a bad read, very bad read. And then we'll talk about more bad reads later once we get through this reward challenge. So let's jump because nothing really else happened to the reward challenge. Yeah. So, well, uh, tell us all about the rewards. <laughs> so the reward challenge happens, y'all. Okay, so they have to break them down in two teams of three. And two teams of three. And it was Cody, Carla, and Owen on one team, Gabler, Cassidy, and Jesse on the other team. So you had Owen and Cassidy had to get into this big ball and Carla and the other two are blindfolded and Cody and Carla, uh, uh, Cassidy and Owen had to okay. guide their teams through the obstacle course around all these different things. And once again, they trying to kill Carla and they trying to kill Cody. Cody took a hit. Oh my God. So <laughs> they have to roll through this obstacle course of cool foolishness and they have put them on finally ended up on this pedestal well then they have to now talk their teammates through a maze a ball maze that they have to lift mm -hmm. and you know you know this is a classic survival maze that they like to do yeah. with the ball rolling through the maze blah, I, just, blah, blah. I just don't know how they brought this challenge back after this is literally the challenge that took out russell like the challenge that <laughs> had someone get medically evacuated in the middle of it, they yeah. brought it back. <laughs> you know, 
I do, I do love this challenge just because it's yeah, we strap someone inside a fucking hamster ball. There's oh, nothing yeah. else to it. Uh, this, this would not be my challenge because a, I'm not going to be spinning around in that ball because my I would I would throw up. B, it's difficult for me to like be cognizant with like no vision because again, vertigo, not good. So like this is just not my challenge. I also don't. I I understand where you like the the blindfolded challenges, Jack. I don't. I don't like. like look, I can't see regularly, so to blindfold me is just like it's just like me on right? living on a everyday basis. So it really makes no difference to me to blindfold me. But I couldn't do the spinning around because I would throw up. Not because of vertigo, just because the spinning around would make me throw up. Um, and then not eating, or, no. <laughs> right? And no, it, no, no, thank you. But yeah. yeah, so they're going through this thing, and Cody, like I said, takes a huge hit when they get caught up on the thing. It's just like, pow, hit, just hit the, the ball. So I was like, oh my God. That was the scariest thing that happened throughout this whole challenge, I think. Nobody really got hurt, which I was thankful. Nobody got, you know, not too much happened, except uh, Owen's team with Carla and Cody would, took a pretty good lead at the beginning. And um, my, and, go ahead. I was going to say, on that note, my favorite moment, my favorite moments of this entire challenge were Cassidy just getting so mad at Jesse and Gabler. <laughs> the whole time it's like go you're right no you're other right like <laughs> she of those three people i understand why she was in the hamster ball i don't know that yeah. that was the best place for her to be <laughs> but i understand why they put her inside of it um they caught up though they did a really really good job of catching up yeah, once they got there, um, I mean, once everybody got through the, the um, obstacle course, it took the, uh, Cassidy's group a little longer. But once they got through, they mm -hmm. caught up really fast and they got through the maze part really fast. But having um, um, Owen's team there so much faster, they got the learning curve a little bit quicker and so the winners of that reward challenge was Owen, Carla, and Cody. And they win reward. Their reward was to go to the sanctuary. And they had, they had pastries and iced coffee and tea and such. Sure. So I'm like, great. I would have been like, thanks for the, the pastries and the tea because I don't like coffee, but great. Oh, I would have I would have had all that coffee. Just all of it in my body immediately. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but this is also where I want to talk about Carla again. Oh, boy. Because <sighs> as much as I love Carla, Carla decides to tell everybody at the sanctuary, her team, that she does not have an idol. She never had an idol. She starts crying again and making... But on the other side, she definitely had Owen and Cody believing she did not have an idol. For a second, for a second, she had a belief in him. But so she forgot back so at close. camp. She forgot back at camp. Back at camp, she got Cassidy, who's now pissed at her because she knows she was coming after her. And Cassidy wants Carla gone. So now that Cassidy is no longer Team Carla, she's like spilling everything. So Cassidy is around the fire with Gabler and Jesse, and like, oh, she actually has an item. Oh, she has an item. <laughs> she I'm has an Ooh. It's so difficult to be a part of the Chris Godoy stand. It's so yeah. hard. It's so hard. I love her. She's just, and she's been playing very well up until this point. And mm -hmm. honestly, I think a lot of it has to do with the physical degradation of her body. I'm going to say it. Like, I honestly yeah. think that's what a lot of it is. Um, I, think, I agree. I mean, it's a lot. But, oh. Well, no, that's later. Okay. But. Yeah, 
So Cassie yeah. is telling oh uh telling Gabler and Jesse that Carla definitely has an idol. Yeah. Right at probably about the same time Carla is telling <laughs> Cody and Owen that she does not have an idol. Ah. Um so she's her game is kind of blown up at this point and she doesn't even know it yet. So they get back to camp and Jesse and Gabler could not wait to tell Owen and Cody <laughs> about Carlos Idol. And so uh, Cody is, and, 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 and Owen are like, word? <laughs> she just, does? Have that's idol? suspicious. Because <laughs> hmm. she just told us that she don't. So. I. Uh, uh, and, yeah, and that causes the men to all mm. come together. And form a final four. Ugh. Which it doesn't last long, we but still. We, it, 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 it just just at a certain point, you just have to go. Uh, you just, uh, <laughs> yeah, at a certain point, you just break down in tears. And I think I'm getting close. But then we move no. on to day 23. Yeah, because oh, now it's time for immunity. <laughs> so since I talked about the rewards, somebody else talk about immunity. Tell us about this challenge. Oh, it's my favorite. It's obstacle, obstacle, obstacle puzzle. <laughs> it is. I, I love, I love it because this challenge is apparently called the Battle of Evermore. Why? It doesn't matter. It's just an obstacle what course. What does have to do with puzzle. bats? I don't know. It, I, I don't know. But yeah, it's obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. Get your key. Uh, pull the thing out. Get your key. Go under a net. Up and up a net. Bat puzzle. Yeah, I look. I'm trying to find the word forevermore, and the only thing that's pulling up is Taylor Swift's new album. So, it's, well, it's not the new one. Not the new one anymore. That is luck. I don't. I don't follow Taylor, so I don't care. She's Taylor, wonderful. So. Anyway, I know uh, she um, is. Be- beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> not that. Anyway, um, <laughs> the big the big thing is everybody pretty much like Cassidy is, is straggling. But everybody makes it to the puzzle at about the same time. And so the real big Except part Carla. of this challenge is... Oh, was it Carla? I thought it was Cassie. Yeah, it was Carla. No, it was Carla. Carla. Carla's uh, lagging behind a bit. But everybody makes it to the puzzle about the same time. Carla makes it to the puzzle. Starts doing very well. And it's clearly between Cody, Cassidy, Owen, and Carla. Mm-hmm. At, at one point. Mm-hmm. Um, Owen kind of falls out. So then it's Cody... Cassidy, Carla. And I'm thinking, oh, Carla's gonna win. She's gonna secure her final five. No big deal. And then her body just shuts down. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is genuinely, like, one of the scariest moments I think I've seen in a long time on Survivor. Like, Um, I I feel like the last time I was, like, this genuinely concerned for someone's well-being was, um, what's his face? Beast Mode Cowboy getting metabacked. Yeah, the giant uh mass pass out due to heat exhaustion in i oh, want to wow. say brains versus blood uh, not jesus christ uh the the second version of brains bronze beauty yeah it was in Korong. yeah um yeah that challenge was just bad but um i was like oh she can't feel her hands again i'm like where is the medic team to help Carla, like genuinely, God. I'm like, God, it's just. I, and then it, this whole time, Jeff is just, is just so continuing bad. his bullshit, and I'm like, and then even as the challenge is ending, I'm like, get medical can someone oh. help her, like Jesus. I mean, I was frustrated. To be fair, we don't know if Medic actually came. They just didn't show that because I think a lot of times they know that that is scary to watch 
for the viewers to see the medic team running out to help somebody on the show. So maybe they yeah. checked her out before they went back to the camp or checked her out at camp. We just didn't see it. So I it, don't I'm not... She did tweet something along the lines of like getting four hand massages in a row is like really exciting and fun. Something along those lines. So mm -hmm. I presume medical checked on her, but I was just like personally for me, I understand what you're saying, Lana, but for me personally, I would have liked to see it because we've seen it for other injuries. Mm -hmm on previous seasons yeah so, but i think but i do understand not seeing it because yeah know, and i think and i think with her injury it was just she doesn't feel her hands she was still standing she was still cognizant of what she was doing she wasn't passing out it wasn't it didn't seem urgent urgent to say okay hold on stop the challenge let's you know yeah because she was she was still standing she was still alert she was still she was, fine still functioning perfectly fine just her hands and so it's like with the injury that she already had on her hand it was like okay maybe this is just an effect of what is already going on that we already know about yeah. so i don't think it needed to be that like urgent urgent but sure. but yeah also, but i'm glad she did get her hand massaged and all of that yeah so and Carla here Carla mm -hmm. slowly falls out of it. So it's Cassidy Cody mm -hmm. for this immunity. Cassidy locks in and it's wrong. wrong. And it comes down to a photo finish practically. Literally seconds. Cassidy flips the piece. I think one of the bat wings was upside down and gets it. Yep. Yeah. Cassidy wins her second immunity. Good Love to see it. Honestly, I, good is, this, is this the first time that this isn't the first time that someone's won immunity twice, right? That was the last episode? No, last, yeah, was, last episode. Both yeah. Owen and Carla. And Carla. Mm -hmm. And now we have another double immunity winner. So, yep, because the only person who has not won immunity is Jesse. Which is kind of surprising to me, I'm going to be honest, because he did put in a lot of work in the tribal phase. Like, I remember him being very crucial in the tribal challenges. Um, so it's kind of surprising that he is not, not one in immunity. But I mean, as we saw last season, immunity wins honestly don't really matter in the grand no. scheme of things necessarily. So, um, so Cassidy wins, Cassidy is safe. We go back to camp and it is pandemonium. Pandemonium. It's a mess. It's a it's, mess. It's, 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 and so, two idols are out there. There is Cody's idol and there's Carla's idol. Except Cody's idol is kind of a misnomer at the moment because it's not even with Cody, right? Nope, it was such so, with Jesse. So, Cody and Carla have a conversation where they're like, I know you have an idol. You know I have an idol. Let's just play our idols and go to Final Four. And I'm like, I don't see how that all comes together, but sure. But <laughs> oh, the kicker of that is we tell them we're playing our idols, but then we don't. We don't. Yeah. So we save our idols for next week or the next round, and they won't even put our name down because we're going to tell them we vote, we're using the idols, so ain't no point in doing that. Uh -huh. And then we that vote. Is Owen was the vote. Right. right? Owen. Yeah. Owen was the vote. So Carla's like, sounds like a plan. Good deal. Cody's like, great. And then Cody walks away and he goes to Jesse and says, I just lied to Carla. We're not doing that. I, I want to make her feel comfortable and say, let her use that and, and say, we go use the item, then we don't. But we all go vote for her so she can go home with an idol in her pocket. Her. Blind side of the century. And Jesse's like, huh, that's a great idea. Sounds good. Cody goes off and he tells Owen and he tells Gabler and he's like, this is the plan. We go rock with Carla, yada, yada, yada. And everybody's like, okay, cool. Jesse, on the other hand, is like, hmm, I like the idea, but I don't because this is a huge move. And if we do this move, Cody gonna get the credit for this move. Now, Cody is my boy. 
Cody is my homie. And I like the guy. Uh-huh. But this is about if I can beat him sitting next to him, uh-huh. which is a no. Yeah. So I think we need to flip this script a little bit because <laughs> as long as Carla's here, she's a shield for me because they'll still want to go after her. But huh, huh, huh. And in this moment, I said, Jesse, I stand because you yep. are playing this game like this game is supposed to be played. I, and I would be remiss to not bring up two very important facts that we find out here and earlier. And I waited for the earlier ones. So we find out here, Cody is not in possession of his own idol. Jesse has it. So uh, Jesse yeah. technically has both Cody's idol and Janine's idol. He had to do a thing for nothing. He didn't yeah. have to do nothing for neither one of them idols to have possession of two idols. Well, everybody we, think Dwight walked away with Janine's idol. Yeah. We also see earlier in the episode, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. I, I'm shocked I'm saying this. Gabler is also playing the game the way the game is supposed to be played. I am I, so in, we have to talk about the Gabler at all because he, he gets a confessional at the start of this episode and he's like, I'm hiding in plain sight. These people do not see the game that I'm playing and I don't want them to until I'm sitting at Final Tribal. He has been putting in this work. And while they're while the reward winners are at Sanctuary, Gabler is like, well, you know, Cody and Carla are big threats. And, like, they both have an idol. So, like, I'm just saying a move against them sooner rather than later would not be a bad idea, to paraphrase. Mm-hmm. Which I'm going to say directly inspired Jesse to have the balls, I'm going to say, to want to make this move at this point, knowing that he has Cody's idol in his possession, he he can make this move. And in reality, if Gabler and I, I want to see this now, I want Gabler and Jesse to make final tribal, and I want Jesse to try to take credit for this move, and I want Gabler to shut him down because we all know Gabler will shut him down. Because again, as we've been saying the last couple of episodes, Gabler is a super fan. He knows how to play this game. And I am so beyond impressed with this man. Okay. And this is going to be my only flip side of what Gabler is doing. Gabler is planting seeds. Gabler is making subtle suggestions for these moves to happen. Mm -hmm. The only thing that could not go in his favor is if he is not the one making the move happen. Because yes, he planted the seed. If Cassidy is not on jury, she is the only person who know that conversation ever happened besides Jesse and himself. So if Jesse takes the you know, takes credit for the move and Gabler says no, but Cassie is sitting right there in the, uh, in the thing. She could say something or she can't. You know, either way, she like, the move was just the move. And yeah. Gabler like, I said this. And if she's not on that jury to say, yeah, he said that or no, he didn't say that, Jesse's going to get credit for this move. Yeah. Sure. If the move happens the way it's supposed to happen, Jesse yeah. will get credit for the move. So Gabler not only has to start, I agree, 100%, more impressing me every week I watch. I'm like, Gabler yeah. is playing this game. Gabler, I said it last week. I said it again. Mm-hmm. Gabler is starting to do things that is very impressive. But his yeah. game is so low-key, and people still look at him as, we don't know what Gabler going to do. He's just a wild card. We don't yeah. know what Gabler going to do. We, we, we'll keep Gabler around for a number. Gabler's being kept around for a number. And sure, that's a good strategy, but you have to have some something, something to say to the jury, this is my move. 
this is what I did. Cause like you can't have a Marianne aha moment at the end without the aha. You just yeah. gotta have well, yeah. the aha. I was I was gonna say as well, I feel very similarly about the way Gabler's playing to the way that Erica played in 41. And I, I I see the similarities in their gameplay. And the other person I think of, I, I will say, Gabler has not had the ha moment yet. But someone else that didn't have the ha moment until she had her moment that ultimately led to her winning was Natalie Anderson. Natalie played a very low-key and loyal game until the moment she didn't. Mm -hmm. And I think if Gabler can make the move at five... Mm -hmm against, I'm going to say, either Jesse or Cassidy. I think, if, Jesse, I think it needs to be Jesse first. Yes. But I think if if Gabler can make the correct moves, maybe win another immunity, maybe win fire making, because I, I think he is the best. He's going to be the one seen, to do at it. Least, yeah, from what we've seen at least, I think... Gabler would be the strongest in the fire making at he's, this point with the with the final five that we have, and we'll talk about that final five. Yeah, I think if yeah. Gabler can just put those last couple of pieces together, I'm gonna say I think Mike Gabler could be the winner of Survivor 43. I am genuinely shocked. I'm saying that. Yeah, like Which, I, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Every single person at this point has at least something where you can go, you know what? Yeah. I think I can see it. And, yeah. and that, and that is something really, really nice to see going into the final. Now, but, just, just oh. to quickly recap before uh -huh. we go into the second part of the fuckery of this vote. To recap, Mm -hmm. Cody and Carla have a plan mm -hmm. that says, mm -hmm. hey, we're just going to use our idols and be safe. Except the plan is not that anymore, and they are faking that. Except the plan is now that Cody is faking that to Carla. Except the plan is now that Jesse is faking that to Cody. It literally is... And 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 the tower's like three more steps up, so we're only halfway up this pole. So we then get the other wrinkle. The other wrinkle being that oh, Lord. Jesse has Cody's idol because mm -hmm. he never wanted it back. And Carla wants to, wants see, to see it. Cody's idol. And Cody asks Jesse for the idol. <laughs> and at this point, I'm just like, no, no, God, no. So Jesse gives it to Cody because that's what a good ally would do. Mm -hmm. Cody shows Carla and there's real ass idols. I love Carla being like, oh, yours looks so different. <laughs> like that's what killed me from this whole, like the tension. And Carla's like, oh, yours looks different. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, your it's, beads are so cute. <laughs> okay, wait. It's, so that, yeah, it's it's so crazy. So Cody, so this is where my tweets started getting interesting because I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yes, Jesse, flip the script, do that, yeah, uh huh, do that, and then he asked for the idol, and I'm like, oh no, Cody. Leave the idol with Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, no. And so, like you said, Jesse gives the idol back. And I was like, oh, okay. But then they leave us with all the others. They're looking at the idols, and it's beautiful. And then they head to, to tribal council. I'm like, so I'm at the edge of my seat. I'm like, did he give the idol back? Does he have it? Does Jesse have it? And Who it's completely unknown information. It's Very completely unknown. unknown, which once again, thank you, oh editing team, for thank having you. an actual mystery element and having <sighs> us completely in the dark again. Because was... this is what we love. 
<laughs> yes, this was. I I hate knowing everything. I want to be in suspense along with everybody else. So it was very exciting to not know who had the idol. Did he give it back? Did he give? Did he keep it? Did he take it to tribal? Did he not? I don't know. We don't know. It was crazy. So we get to tribal, and baby. Jack just just finishing off his tea because this is what the tea was oh, well, here so we go. good. Yeah, no. This is what the tea was so good. It's so good. It gets so, so good. But it, it's so crazy because it starts off like any normal tribal. Very it starts normal, off with that bottom plan. It starts off with the bottom. Yeah, like this is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows what their plan is. Everybody think they know what the plan is. And Jeff asked that question, how sure are you that your plan that you talked about is going to work? And everybody's like, I'm about eight, nine percent. Nine, I'm not about a nine. He says a nine and a half. And I'm just screaming at this point internally because I'm like, oh, please let him get blindsided. Like, please. It, it's it just happen. So- it's just so crazy. Everybody's like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? How's it going to work? So, baby, like I said, it starts off very, very much. Everybody think they know what they go going to do. The only people that really know what they're going to do are the people who actually talked about what's going to happen. And so they go vote. Because really, it's really it's just a plain conversation. It's really not a lot of com- anything in the talk about this the foolishness happens after the vote. So we go to the vote. Uh-huh. Yo, we go to the vote. Everybody go vote. And um, Jeff comes back and he got the votes. And he's like, if anybody has an idol or an advantage, you want to play it, this is the time to play it. Everybody look at Carla. Carla look at Cody. And they don't they don't move. And Jeff is about to open the thing. And just to say, wait, hold up. Uh, and everybody's like what huh now this is my favorite part about this whole thing the jury is cracking me up Jack, the, jury, the jury is cracking me up Noel, Noel Noel was privately Carla. saying like oh God, she it's gonna like be me. so boring 10 bucks <laughs> on them just like not playing an idol like, let's, just, let's make it no. clear and, and that's what and that's what we thought was going to happen because yeah. we had assumed that Cody had his idol back. It was so it was crazy. So Je- Jesse gets up and says, "Jeff, we have a plan, and we gonna make sure this plan go off the way it's supposed to go off." And he oh, said, "I'm God. nervous, but I'm more nervous for Owen." So I'm playing no Owen. Way. And everybody's like, "What?" I meant to save, and I I, I want to do it before the finale because I know we're going to be gagged with the finale. I meant to save one of the many facial expressions we got from uh, Janine in this episode because she's just like just Janine perfect. <laughs> Janine, I knew she would be the perfect yes. jury facial expression master this mm-hmm. season, and I just love to see it because I love her, but. Yeah, so uh, he, play, he plays it for Owen. So he's like, okay, Owen, any votes uh, made to Owen will not count. And he goes to sit down. So Cody is looking at him like, what? What? <laughs> what, <Get> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What? what? <laughs> you, excuse, you, excuse, you did excuse what? Me? How? You did, you, that, was, that was, that was, that, what? We, what? That was, huh? that was so, me. Huh? That, Wait, <laughs> what? Okay. So he's like, uh. So Jeff is like, okay, let's resume the vote. So Carla was like, uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. No, hold on. No, I'm good. I'm safe. Fuck this. She said, let me, I'm going to play this for myself because I, I'm nervous now. I wish I was, he hadn't. I wish she had But it. I get it. I get, I get it. Look, I 100% at that point, get at it. At that point, you see one idol come out, and you're like, okay, the person that I thought was the plan and that everyone was going for is now. is not the and plan. The person, the person I voted for yeah, right. that, is that not was the, the plan. That was the one vote that was shown before the votes were read. Mm-hmm. Um, so now we have two people safe with 
Odin. With Odin. Well, three. And well, three, and, yes. And Cassidy. But, and yeah. Cassidy. And the votes get red. Oh, and and they, I... The dumbest, widest file swipes over my face. I just, I, I was sitting there looking like Janine the entire time, just like... And that was my face. Cody. So, Car- so Carla's vote against Owen Always. gets nullified. Cody's vote against so, Carla, I mean, Carla does not nullified. Count. Four votes by Cody. So oh, to be bugger. clear, that is now two burned idols. Two. And, and there's still an idol in play that not a single person knows about except for Dwight. And here, and he's not there. He actually, and he's not there. I'm just now realizing that Jesse mm-hmm. managed to burn two idols and that what? he didn't even own. No, and he knew that was going to happen. He could have. He could have walked out of there with two idols. He could have just. He technically, he could have forced someone to go home mm-hmm. next week he could have mm-hmm. just been like you're safe i'm safe this person's already safe by immunity carla unless you want to go home play your idol okay you're screwed uh we could have had a sari moment we could have had a sari moment that mm-hmm. was forced by one one percent. vote yep yep that would have been but instead jesse manages to Use Cody's idol that he gave him, uh, and this was clarified, I believe, by Mike Bloom later, that Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Mm -hmm. had mentioned, oh my god, but think of the knowledge is power, maybe it's back. Uh, And and that was randomly the thing that worked. Uh, So that is how Cody's idol ended back up in Jesse's pocket. Uh, and then now we have but okay uh, but this is the craziest thing to me and I still am buzzing over it even all the way now as we talk about it Jesse has clearly just like we saw this in Australia we saw this in Australia Survivor when Sam took um, old boy's idol, and then end up using, making sure he left the yeah. next, that same night. It was brutal, savage. Kind of loved it. Kind of loved, loved it. it. Up it and was, I, go ahead. Yeah, that. I, have, I have a comment on that, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it it it's, it was interesting how people reacted to her doing it, and then now seeing yes. Jesse doing it because she got so much hate on Survivor Australia for doing that, and people yeah. like she's the devil. She's that's that's that was mm-hmm. just rude, blah blah blah. And then Jesse does it, and he's oh, he's the king. He's amazing. That's winning material right there. So I was like, mm, no, she did what she had to do, and I loved it in the moment. I was like, that's savage, and any savage move in Survivor, I'm here for. And I don't know and if I'm, you remember, Lana. I didn't love it in the moment. I, mm-hmm. I was not a fan of the move personally. Mm-hmm. I've gone back and rewatched it, a lot of it because of the discourse on Twitter. And I've gone back and watched that specific episode. And now with like a fresher perspective, mm-hmm. I love the move that Sam made. And mm-hmm. I really honestly, I appreciate Sam's game a lot more than I did in the moment. Cause I was not very, very hype on her gameplay. I'm not, I wasn't a Sam, like, I wasn't standing Sam during that season. Like, I wasn't like, she, she's an awesome player. I, I thought she was a good player. I just didn't like her, you know, whining in the, like, she cried a lot and was whining. Yeah. Very annoying. But I also found that her game style, though, the way she made that move, and only this particular move, I'm going to talk about the rest of her game, that particular move, she really didn't steal it because he gave it to her. He literally, she, he had no place to hide an idol in the little tiny speedos he was wearing. So it's like he went in tiny, tiny shorts. That's on you. You have no place. And she has the sarong that covers it and will ever to, you know, able to cover it. And so she really didn't steal it. It was given to her. 
and she yep. just happened to have it in his her possession. That was I don't know. And at that moment when she took it, she wasn't planning on voting him out. That came after. So it wasn't like she told it just with the intention on voting him out. It was just a, something that happened after she had it in her possession. So I wasn't mad at the move that she made. I thought it was brilliant once she realized, you know what? I do have this guy's idol. It could be mine if he's gone. Yeah. So he got to go. <laughs> she did what she did. Bye bye. But yeah, I thought it was. I just, you know, I remember that moment from there and I watched Jesse's moment and I was like, that was kind of savage and I loved it, but he did it in such a more savage way than she did it because not only did he take it, gave it back, took it back again, but then used, then it, used it to get him out. Like you on some, on, no, you no, not somebody not else. else. Not, not yeah, it just like he used it on someone else and made the move happen. Like he told Gabler and Owen and Cassidy, uh, Cassidy yeah. to vote for Cody. He made the move happen, then used that man's idol on the other person to keep. To scare the other person into using their idol. It, just brilliant. I, I, I don't care if he wins this season. Honestly, let me just say, let me put this out there. I don't care if Jesse wins this season or wins this game. That move alone made him an amazing player in yeah. this game. And he, if they ever do a comeback season or an all star or a welcome back or whatever they want to call it, that man's name deserves to be mentioned in the coming back of somebody who played this game because he strategized and he's been doing this week after week. We've seen his plans coming into fruition for a couple of weeks now. So, yeah. I mean, simply put, um, he managed to pull off two different moves in one tribal. Not only making sure that his, his at that point number one ally went home with a majority vote, but at the exact same time flushing two idols. That and and those two moves were technically unrelated, which yep. I just what the hell has happened with the past couple seasons and the final six vote being. Amazing. Every single one of them has just been. Every single one. And now, I would just like to state for the record, this is the only time that the knowledge is power has actually done anything good, and it wasn't even there. It wasn't even there. It wasn't even there. It was the threat of a knowledge is power. I think we're better without it, truthfully. But I want to pose the question, because we now know, regardless of what happens next week, or, in, or not next week. Well, next week is the finale. Regardless of what happens at Final Five, Jesse will be making Final Four. Do we think Jesse will win Fire Making? Because I'm going to be honest, I don't necessarily know Ooh. if I see him winning the immunity, and nobody's taking him. Yeah, uh, that I I do honestly see him potentially going home at Final Four, just I not getting him. not getting Fire Making done. Um, and I mean. I think realistically, in order of success for fire making, Gabler beats everyone. Yes. Then, uh, it's honestly a it's honestly a four way. It's a three way tie for me. I'm gonna put Carla at the bottom of that list only because we know, you she's know, what's happening with her hands. Yeah. She's been going um, through. It. I think if she makes final four and doesn't win the final four immunity. I think that's an easy way to take her out. Um, yeah. But I'm not sure they want to do that at this point. And I don't know if, if she's going to make it there. I'm going to be really honest. Yeah. I love Carla. I think she is. Don't the put that into one. the world. Don't put it into the world. It's I'm not worth saying. saying. It's not worth saying. I it's not worth saying. It's not worth saying. We don't anyway. need that. We don't need that right now. Because the only person whose skills we kind of really know are Gabler's. And we know Gabler is fairly good at fire making. Any sort of outdoorsy thing, he'll just master. 
So, I mean... But who knows if it's even fire making? We don't know. Yeah. Okay, first of all, gentlemen, they, thems, all of you, I have been listening, and I am very annoyed at the commentary that you two have just made without my presence being here. Why well, because... you too? No, no, not because you didn't ask, because I was gone. Okay. I, <laughs> but... I'm listening to what you were saying about this fire making, this final four, who mm -hmm. has the best chances. And you all seem to have forgotten that Cassidy has been the one making the fire. Yeah, I want to say who's they been making were. fire the whole time. It's been Cassidy. And Absolutely Cassidy has been making the forget. fire very quickly and very easily because this is what she does. And so to count her out of the fire baking challenge, I'm like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, not on my watch. The ladies are going to represent in the fire making challenge. I think she can beat those guys. Thank you very much. I, I, I think it's interesting. Oh, I mean, obviously it all depends on who wins, who makes it to the final four and then who wins the final four immunity. I see everybody left in the competition taking Cassidy if they win final immunity. That's yeah. the scenario that I see right now personally, because from the from what we know of where everybody thinks everybody lands, I don't think anybody thinks Cassidy has a shot to win. I think she has a shot to win. I think she can make a pretty decent case. It's just a matter of who she's next to. And I think the only universe or I'm going to say one of, because I'm not thinking of all the options. I think the main universe where Cassidy has the best shot to win is against Owen and Carla. Yeah. Because I think, I think if Jesse makes it to Final Tribal with some combo of Owen, Carla, and Cassidy, I think Jesse wins. I think if Gabler makes Final Tribal with any combination of Cody, or not Cody, um, Owen, Carla, Cassidy. I think Gabler wins. I think if both of them are removed from the equation, then it kind of becomes an open game because for me at least, and I'm probably forgetting major details because again, hi, it's a busy time of year for me. In my, in my viewing, I feel like Carla, Cassidy, and Owen have played very similar games. And so it would be really interesting. I think that's maybe the final tribal situation that I want to see. Um, just because I really don't know how it would go. But I think you I think you put Jesse, honestly, I think you put Jesse against anybody, Jesse wins. I think you put Gabler against anyone that's not Jesse, and Gabler wins. Mm -hmm. And I I hope either or both of you have differing opinions, but that's kind of just where I, I'm viewing it at this point. Yeah, I mean, I'm as much as much as I love him, I'm finding it hard to figure out where Owen wins against basically anyone at this point. Um, yeah, it, it, seeing how at least two other people have to be there. Uh, I think Jesse and Carla and realistically Cassidy, all of them probably beat him along with Gabler and Gabler. I mean, here's the thing. I love Cassidy so much. She's not, she's being heavily under edited. So it leads me to believe that she won't win but then again a lot of female winners are heavily under edited because i would say um, most honestly i would say most female most. winners yes um so carla carla has gotten a good amount of screen time throughout the entire season and I mean, unfortunately, they've kind of showed like a heavy decline into the end game. So I almost feel like she would be like the third most likely after 
I want to say the order. See, I want to say the order is Jesse and then Carla and Cassidy directly next to each other, fall, oh. followed by Gabler and then Owen, just because Gabler, like, except for the last two episodes, has not shown that strategic brain as much and has been seen, I guess, at least in my mind, more of like. Oh, yeah, no, he's been there. He's provided good commentary, and he's been a part of moves, but he's never, like, led anything. The Ellie vote. The Ellie I vote. was about to argue the Ellie vote. That, that is probably the one... That That's, like, the one thing. Uh, but other than that, like, he's kind of followed for a lot of it. So once again, it's like Jesse, Jesse's the obvious winner at this point where it, it's very, very easy to argue for him winning against a lot of people. Um, Owen is the one person who I'm like, as much as I love him, I can't see him winning in any scenario. The other three... I think it really is going to be defined by the final episode if we are going to get... Obviously, if Jesse... Like we said, we don't think Jesse will do well in the fire making just because we haven't seen anything. So if Jesse goes down at that point, it's pretty open. It's just... there. There, It went from, oh yeah, no, Cody was kind of doing a lot to oh uh jesse just took out cody um oh god uh what now yeah okay so here's my counter to that because i do see a path where owen can win this game and this is why owen has not been on the right side of the votes a lot since the merge happened um he has fought and been on the wrong side of everything, really like the wrong side of each alliance. He has been the person everybody liked to fall back to, like, Owen to be the vote. Owen will be the vote. If this happens, Owen will be the vote. But Owen is still there. If Owen makes it to the final round, to the final three of this game, he has a very good argument of outplaying, outlasting, and outwitting a lot of these people. Even people like James, who he fought with head on. And it's like, look, he was very much a catalyst for James going home. Yeah, And so he has some a good story. He just has to know how to explain his game. Like, I fought the hardest out of everybody here because everybody else came in with built-in alliances and their alliances stuck together and they had their duos. I didn't have that. My duos got kept taken out as soon as Janine got here. They took Janine out. Then I got close with Noel. They took Noel out. I get close yeah. with anybody. They take them out. But I'm still here. So he yeah. would just have to know how to explain his game. And with doing with Owen being the super fan that he is, I am sure he knows how to create and cultivate his mm -hmm. final three speech and yeah. make it that jury put like, you know what? He might have not had the flashiest moves in the game. But you know who didn't have the flashiest moves in the game? Marianne didn't have the flashiest moves in the game. Erica didn't have Erica. the flashiest moves in the game. Yeah. A lot of winners don't have the flashiest moves in the game. It's what yeah. you do to get to this point. And he's like, I didn't have advantages. I didn't have idols. I didn't have anybody giving me. And I had somebody play an idol on me, and I didn't even ask for it. They just did it. So yeah. he has a story and a way if he just has to get there he just has yeah. to get there now i'm not saying it's gonna be for him to get there it's gonna be easy he just has to get there and if he can get there then um yeah i feel like he has a path to win it's not gonna be easy but yeah. he needs to he needs to make sure that jesse and gabler is not sitting there with him i think his best way to win is sitting there with carla and with the uh casting because they're gonna be too busy going after each other to be going after him. 
So, yeah, I I think I agree with you. Um, I immediately I I thought of. I thought of both Erica and Marianne as well. I thought of two other international examples. And Lana, I don't think you will know either of them. I don't think you've watched either of their seasons. And Jack, I'm not sure. Um, I, I have watched a, I've watched mainly the newer seasons along with going back. So Okay. So the two the two winners I think of immediately are Nicole from Survivor South Africa Immunity Island. Because she was in a very similar position to what Owen was for the majority of her merge game. And I think of Chrissy from Australian Survivor season one. I, I lean a little bit to Chrissy specifically because Chrissy played, for me, the ideal underdog game. And I, I, I do agree with you, Lana. I think, I think Owen's best shot is against Carla and Cassidy. I just think mostly... Owen needs to not be sitting next to Gabler. I think mm. Owen can make a really good case, even if Jesse's sitting right there. I because Jesse, yeah. Jesse did play the idol for Owen. Jesse went, most of the time, when Cody and Jesse have had plans in this merge, one of, at least from the edit, one of the first people that they go to as a number is it's, Owen. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I agree with you. I think... The super fan in Owen will have already had his his final tribal speech planned out, and I I love that we're seemingly I think all five of these people are super fans in some capacity or at least very big fans of Survivor, which is also something I like to see. But I think there's an interesting path for Owen, and I think similarly, I think Cassidy on a similar trajectory. And a similar, like, she's had a very similar path to what Owen has. Mm -hmm. Because now, I mean, like, her only real ally at this point kind of is Carla, but not really. Like, she's done a lot of the scrambling in addition to Owen. And I think it's mm -hmm. interesting because we've had just, we've had a few major power players in this merge. Mm -hmm. Most of them are gone. And you really only have Jesse left as the big power player. And a lot of people that have either floated, I'm not going to say coast. I don't think anyone in the final five has really coasted, but we see a lot of floaters in the sense of not always knowing exactly where to vote. And in the case of Owen, really not ever, until recently, not really voting on the right side of the vote and having his allies taken out, like you said. Cassidy, in a similar situation, kind of became a free agent once merge happened and had a few connections to her to her tribe mates but had to really build her social mm -hmm. game and, mm -hmm. exactly i think I, i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say i think the most interesting final tribal scenario for me is owen cassidy carla i i think well okay so you know my winner pick was owen that was my winner mm -hmm. pick preseason yep. and I, I'm sticking by that. I do believe he has okay. a chance of winning this game. But like I said, I think he, because we can't forget, he has won two, uh, two of beauty items also. So it's yeah. not like he hasn't done anything in this game. He has, he has your money. Go put it back in your purse. Um, Number three. She, she got money. She, the girl is rich. Good for her. Say? <laughs> but um, probably more yeah. than I have right now. I mean, she got more than me. So, Same. Uh, anyway, uh, so she Owen is not like dead in the water. I don't think. I think no. because he has won two idols. I mean, immunity idols. Um, he he found himself at the bottom of of this at the merge. He was out on the outs, but he has turned it around as of late to become one of those, like you said, the go-to person. Everybody who wanted something done, they needed him. And so yep. he went from being at the bottom to being needed. And so it's like, hmm, he can use that to his advantage because even if he doesn't win this next immunity idol, I mean, immunity challenge, if he doesn't win, 
I still don't see Gabler coming for him. I don't see Cassidy coming for him. And I think Jesse is very comfortable that he's not going to come for him because he just played this idol on him to keep him this week. But I think Owen would be smart enough to realize who is in control, who is in the power position, who does he need to take out. And I think this is what Gabler's downfall is. Gabler is getting comfortable. And he's starting to talk a little more than he, I think he needs to. And I think Gabler can talk, uh, just a, a, a crazy, Gabler can talk himself right on to out the game. If, yeah. if, if, if he goes into this next one and doesn't win and tries to go like make Owen. Because one thing Owen doesn't like people to do is try to make him do something. He he likes to feel involved in a plan instead of you telling him the plan because that's, you know, we saw this along the rest of the season. I just think that he he can win. Cassie, I agree. She's on that same trajectory as Owen. It's not going to be a very easy role for either of them, even Carla. But I, I yeah. think an uh, uh, interesting final three, I agree with the Owen, Cassidy, Carla, but also Owen, Cassidy, uh, Jesse would be just as oh, yeah. interesting. I think it yeah. would be just as interesting because as much as Jesse talks a lot of, uh, you know, he made that move and the jury saw him make that move, Owen can talk. Owen can talk. Owen can explain. Owen can persuade a jury to vote for him if he do. And I think Cassidy can do it too. It's just going to come down to what the jury feels is important what the jury feels is the best, you know, how they want to be this yeah. season to be represented. And it might be moves, wow. it might be strategy, it might be uh it might be um it might be physical comp wins or whatever. It just comes down to what the jury decides they want to vote for, who they you know what yeah. they think is the best. And I don't know what it is with this jury because this jury is a lot because honestly in my oh, head I think I really think Owen has three votes right now in the jury if he makes the final three. Janine? Mm hmm. Noel? Yes. And I James. think. I don't know about James. I didn't count James. I think. Ryan. If, Ryan. Ryan. Those are the three I think he could have. Also, yeah. if Gabler goes into jury, he might even have Sammy. He might yeah. even have Sammy. And if so Gabler goes into jury, I he think might he has have Gabler. Gabler. <laughs> so I'm not sure if... Ooh. I'm not sure. It's just a lot. And, but we got one more week of this because the finale is next. I just... Crazy. I just don't... I don't know. I this don't season know. Suddenly, this season suddenly just blew wide open. It did. And I love it's, it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like, this is the survivor that I want to see. And, like, the re 11 episodes of Blah, I'm happy to see episode 12 show out and do show out well to set us up for what I think will be a very dynamic finale. So, I think on a closing note, I'm going to, uh, we already kind of talked about it. I'm pretty sure I know both of yours. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to ask for winner picks. I said, no, God, don't make me. Uh, no, it's still my winner pick. It's still, I mean, I could yeah. see Jesse because Jesse's getting this edit and I wouldn't be uh -huh. mad at it, but no. I still think Owen is my winner pick. I don't think I would, I wouldn't be mad at anyone winning. I, I wouldn't either. Uh, I wouldn't either. Yeah, they all played. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, the only person that can win the season is uh, Carla Cruz Cadoy, and I will not take any other. Uh, I will not take any other suggestions. Uh, that is the only person that can win. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, Jack, Jack said, "Fight me at me if you want to." <laughs> I, I, you know, you know, I get all of the other reasoning. Sure, but I have Carla. I'm still working on finals. My mental is here right now. Oh, the yeah. only way it can be brought up is by Carla Cruz Godoy winning this goddamn game. That's it. Sure. Uh, I... Otherwise, I think I'll just sink into like the black hole that is just my entire body right now and just oh, fully no. collapse. 
Yeah. We'll lose, oh, we'll, lose Jack for, we'll lose Jack for a few weeks until we come back for the Australian Survivor <laughs> cast assessment. Um, once the cast finally gets released, Jesus. Oh, my God. We'll talk about what, it. What what number are they on at this point? Like, reveal number 10? 15, I think. Oh, my God. I think we're at 15. I don't know. I haven't counted recently. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that I tell episode one so me, controversial yet so brave. Tell episode one me that I'm saying this and I would not believe it. My winner pick is Mike Gabler. I really think <laughs> I really think he can do it. And I'm gagged I'm saying that. But I I really I that do note. I really do believe that in the right circumstances, I think Gabler could win. I know I'm crazy for that. Finals are also kicking my butt the same way they are Jack. So I that might just be the the sheer lack of of mental state talking. But I'm gonna say is, Mike Gabler. It is what it is, y'all. This is it. Because <laughs> we 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 I I, I, I mm, okay. Um, like just like share subscribe because honestly, this is crazy. We are all over the place, and I look. Finals are kicking Jack and Logan's butt right now. Their mental capacity is here. I don't have finals, so I'm okay. It's cool, but I'm good for like, you, Lana. <laughs> and we also have, uh, you know, another podcast directly after this. It's <laughs> fine. I mean it's cool. So yeah. this is what we're gonna this is what we're gonna ask you all to do. Because as you can see, half of this panel is struggling with finals. And so if you don't want them to struggle in vain, if you don't want them to struggle just to struggle, like, mm -hmm. subscribe, share, tell your friends that the cup is on the air. We're giving you great content and we are we, our opinions are all over the place. Chime in, comment below your winner picks. Tell us who you think and yeah. why. We'd love to see that and love to read it and, and, and see if we agree with you or not. And follow us on Twitter at the cup underscore reality. So you can never miss a pod, uh, never miss a date when we're going to drop our videos. And if you're just cool. And if you want to show Logan and Jack some love and tell them that it's going to be okay. This too shall pass. You will pass these finals and be all right. Follow them on their YouTube. Oh, I mean on their uh, their Twitter channels. Follow Jack on his Twitch. Give him some likes and streams, views, and all of that because he's just a great guy. He should, he's a great person, and you and you want to follow his stuff on Twitch. So follow him, and um, and then you can follow me too if you want. Follow Lana. Follow Lana. That'd be cute. And on that note, you guys. We're going to say good night and thanks so much for following and watching. So, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How is it Al Alani new? Like, have we talked about oh, getting great. a sponsor yet? It's great. It's I would love to get a sponsorship. Sponsor us, please. Goodbye please. now. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.